All right, we're going to get to a weather report and some sports. Bishop Union High School girls volleyball. Do that in just a moment. First, some nice snow coming in as forecasted Friday night into Saturday. Mammoth Snowman filed this report. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for stopping by MammothSnowman.com. This is a Mammoth Mountain today on November 3rd, 2014. Got Lincoln Mountain in the background. We're down here at Canyon Lodge. It was too noisy up at Main Lodge from all that snow making uh, to get a report done. So we're down here enjoying the sunshine. Oh, maybe a, a good eight to 10 inches here of new snow at Canyon Lodge from the main lodge up to the top over the weekend a good 12 to 18 inches of new snow and they're on about a 60 hour snow making run right now so we got a bunch of footage let's roll that uh, we are expecting temperatures today in the low 30s at main lodge tonight uh, lows in the 20s and then we're expecting things to warm up for the next week nighttime lows are going to be sketchy for snow making but i'll tell you what they've made enough snow that if they wanted they could get open uh, in a couple days so that's the dirty room, rumor around town possibly opening up this week they're definitely not opening tomorrow i can tell you that the last i heard the earliest they would run would be thursday plenty of snow though as you can see on these snow making pictures on broadway there to to get some run runs in my my philosophy is one run is better than none so uh we'll see what happens we'll keep you updated here at mammothsnowman.com so that's all we got for you today, folks. Uh, 12 to 18 inches of new, 60 hour snow making run. It's still going and hopefully we're gonna be skiing this week and not next. All right, well, we'll be updating you again on Wednesday from up at the main lodge. We'll see how it looks, how they did with snow making. Uh, I'll let your friends know about our website and uh, hey, we will see you on the slopes sooner than later. All right, snowman out. All right, thanks for that, Snowman. Check out his website, mammothsnowman.com. Let's check out the uh, weather map, Sierra Wave Media forecaster, Dennis Mattinson, noting that the snow got down to about 6,000 foot level in the southern whites. High pressure, however, has started building back in today. Warming temperatures through the end of the week. Dennis Mattinson says temperatures should warm back up to above normal by then and we'll have dry conditions. Dennis Mattinson also notes that the Climate Prediction Center calls for a 40 to 50 percent chance of below normal precipitation for the entire state of California through November 15th. And as Mattinson says, well, anyways, it was nice to see some moisture pass our way. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 24 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley, 33 degrees. Mammoth, June, Mono County on Tuesday. Boy, what a lovely day. Sunny skies, some light wind, just 54 for the high in the town of Mammoth Lakes, low of about 32 degrees. Wednesday for the high country, mostly sunny skies, some light winds, 58 the expected high in Mammoth, low of about 34 degrees. And Thursday for Mono County, we're looking at sunny skies, maybe a little Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour out there. 61 in the town of Mammoth Lakes, a low of about 35 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley, sunny skies, the forecast for Tuesday. Northwest winds perhaps in the afternoon, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 70 the expected high in Bishop, low of about 39 degrees. Wednesday, sunny skies, the forecast for the valley. Some southeast winds, 10 to 15 miles an hour. 74 the high in Bishop, low of about 41 degrees. And look at Thursday with sunny skies and southeast winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour through the valley. But 79, the expected high in Bishop, low of about 40 degrees. So a lovely week of uh, autumn weather for us here in our little slice of heaven. Uh, let's uh, head over to some sports. And, well, let's head out to Bishop Union High School's Gus Klikas Gymnasium, where last Thursday it was the High Desert League Girls Volleyball Finale. The Bishop Broncos hosting Kern Valley, visiting from Lake Isabella. Boy, what a nice season the Bishop Broncos under Coach Linda Frigerio have had. The Bishop Broncos scoring a three-game sweep against the Bronx. Uh, Bishop claiming second place in the High Desert League. This is behind first place Fraser Mountain, which Bishop knocked off on Tuesday. So a nice uh, week for the Bishop Broncos beating both Fraser Mountain and Kern Valley. Looking at some of that action from the Kern Valley game. Boy, a very nice crowd on hand to cheer on the Bishop Broncos. And they looked uh, very sharp in a three-game sweep of the Kern Valley Bronx. First game went a long way. 25-23, Bishop was able to hang on for the victory. And then the Bishop Broncos just dominated the last two games of the best of five match, 25-12 and 25-11. Individual performances for the Bishop Broncos. 
Hey, how about Naya McCoy? Four kills, five digs, two blocks. Sierra Rossi had three kills and nine digs. Sammy Powell, 10 kills to go along with eight digs. Kiara Cox had eight kills and three blocks. Stacy Sankey, 27 assists for Stacy Sankey. She also had five digs and a couple of blocks. Gabby Cortez with three digs in there. And hey, Maria Jimenez, you know, she's the daughter of Jay Jimenez, our Spanish show host on Tuesday, on Sunday afternoons. Maria Jimenez, fine match for the Broncos with 13 digs, five blocks, four kills, and a three aces. And as we're looking at some good action here from last Thursday's win against Kern Valley. I'm going to give you the high desert league standings. Frazier Mountain uh, winning the HDL title at 7 and 1. But as we said, the Bishop Broncos knock, knocked them off last Tuesday. Bishop finishing at 6 and 2 in high desert league play. Good for second place. Kern Valley is was four and four. California City went three and five, and Rosamond finished winless at 0 and H in High Desert League play. Now the Bishop Broncos and the rest of the High Desert League has moved over to the CIF Central section. The Broncos are in Division Four. And the Bishop Broncos and the rest of the High Desert League, they've moved over to the CIF Central section. Remember, they did that before the last school year. And the Bishop Bronco girls volleyball team will be in the CIF Central section Division Four playoffs. The seating meeting will start on Friday morning. CIF Central section said they're hoping to have the pairings released by Thursday. So the Broncos will have an away match, part of the agreement of the HDL moving into the Central section. But a couple of very nice wins last week for Bishop Broncos and their coach, Linda Frazier. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.